I'm Tim Tolfson, pro trail and ultra runner for Hoka One One. And today I'm gonna to show you my lineup, kind of all the shoes that I use in my quiver for hitting the trail. First up, I got the Challenger. This is really my workhorse. I use it as a daily trainer. It, uh, it kind of is versatile on most mellow terrains. I also find that, you know, if I want a little more protection or just kind of like more of a mellow shoe for maybe a, a race, like a 50K, it's, it's a nice appropriate one. And I think for a lot of people, this can serve them well for maybe that 50K, 50 mile race distance, um, if you want that little extra protection. So then I'm pretty psyched on this new shoe, the Zanal, that's just come out. And this one really, I think, was built around being able to go up quick, fast ascents. It's nimble, it's light, it's responsive. Uh, it also has that Vibram Mega Grip on the outside. So if it's slick, slick, wet trail, you're still gonna get some of that traction on the rocks. Designed really for a race like Sierra Zanal, I think it's a great shoe that you can like hammer uphill, but then it's enough protection to come back down to protect you for those short, steep, real um, steep kickers. So this one I think is gonna be great for, for my, my races that are shorter, faster ascents or the VKs or even cross country races. You know, I still jump into 5K, 10K, 8K races. I think this is that shoe that I would probably use for something like that. And then we got the Torrent 2. This one, I don't use it as frequently, but what I like about it is the lugs are a little, little more grippy than say the Zanol. Uh, so if I'm on maybe a really muddy trail and I'm not worried about necessarily, you know, slick rocks, but I want something to dig in, I think this one kind of serves a purpose there. Um, so yeah, it's a, a nice upgrade from the first one. And, you know, just kind of in my quiver, it's one that I would pull from for maybe something like that. And then really anyone that follows me, they know that this shoe right here, this is my bomb proof shoe, the, the Evo Mafate. I've been using this for five years. I'd say almost every single race I've done has been in this shoe. Um, and what I like about it the most is that I really feel like it can handle any terrain. Um, a lot of our European races, we run through villages, so you're on the pavement. I find this to be very responsive through that. But then also here in the Sierra, I get a lot of chossy talus fields where I'm rock hopping. It hugs my foot really well. The, the matrix upper drains water. So when I have the creek crossings, you know, I, I'm never bogged down and feel like I'm like ended up with uh, foot problems. And it really is just an all around workhorse for me. Um, it's probably, I mean, it is my favorite shoe in the lineup, but uh, I'm sort of a creature of habit. So I always have to remind myself of the quiver that I have and try and pull out some of the other ones and experiment. But the Evo Mafate really, it can handle it all. You know, I use it this year at Western States and at UTMB and it handled, you know, the hot canyons, 105 degree heat, or or up and over, you know, the, the French, Italian, and uh, Switzerland Alps. So that's kind of my quiver that I normally look at. Pretty psyched that I have something for each, uh, either race, distance, or terrain. And, you know, it's just this versatility that, that I like as a trail runner. So hopefully that helps a little bit on, you know, if you were looking to select something, but those are my thoughts.